Right everybody, so I'm going to be doing a Super Slots Spinneroonie, right? So I've already spun a boat. Oh, look at that. The start, guys. That's you guys giving me a good look, you know. So I already did, I think it's like 250. And then I was like, oh, well, I might as well show you guys the luck of this, you know, of, of my luck. So I've already spent 20,000 points on speed ups so far but um i just wanted to kind of show you know maybe give my two cent on what i would personally buy from the exchange shop and if it's worth actually buying the packs okay so just from memory within reason because obviously memory's crap these days people yeah <laughs> I'm only joking, right, but when it comes to this, yeah, so it was, so it's the $20 pack plus the $10 pack plus the $5 pack plus the $2 pack. So overall, what would that be? 30, 35, $37, so the $40. I was able to get from there 60 seven days worth of speed ups if my memory is correct there 67 days worth of speed ups which i will be using on investment so when you do the investment packs for a hundred dollars you get 37 days worth of speed ups for a hundred dollars for less than that yeah a lot less than that 37 dollars i was able to get 200 dollars pretty much worth of speed ups now that to me is pretty amazing. Obviously luck comes down to it too. So far we haven't been the most luckiest, but we're getting there. Also if you hear any noises, it's my bloody dog chewing a bone. Animal soil, I got a cold. Ooh, 460 points, yes sir. Oh look at it. Oh look at it. I like when every single time you get something. Big or small. Seems to be on a roll here, but give us more coins. We want we, we want a big win. We want coins. Come on. Come on. I don't think we're gonna get any more coins, you know. Oh as soon as I said it, we got more. Fantastic. See if we can get another one before it ends though. Keep us going. And with this event, every day the packs reset. So every day it's worth buying the packs again and again and again and again until that event finishes. And if you don't want to use the points you get until you can get the bigger rewards, which I'll show you in a second, you don't have to spend them. And then next time Super Slot comes around, you can then use it there. So it carries over. So as you can see here, obviously I've bought up to the 49.99 pack. So next one you get 80 point uh, coins, which is pretty bad. It's 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 enticing, it is. Oh look at that, a few extra ones. Um, super slot coins obtained. Hmm. Oh maybe that's them overall. Okay. Could be wrong, I'm not sure. But it can't be these points because oh yeah yeah. Let's see. How lucky am I? I've had a few of them. I got one just before I started recording and I didn't get anything really. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, that's rubbish. I've already got two hundred K. Right, well that wasn't really the best one, but nonetheless, it was pretty good. You can get them for free by doing your general tasks, and every single day you get one free one. Yeah, I would recommend at least getting the first couple packs. You know, even if you're if you're truly not a spender, I I don't say it lightly. I would recommend getting the first pack. I really would. The rewards of it is fantastic. So yeah, as saying, if you want to carry over, do you know, save your points to carry over so you get. A, 
a grand contract or a jewel, you know. I spent more. I, I could have got these, but the thing is, I already got, you know, grand jewels, gold, you know, multiple gold king sets, so it's, it's not needed, yeah? But it all depends on you and what you need for your situation, your time. Governor Wars coming up. So these are fantastic to have if you've got the points. 80% Governor War crew attack, you're setting yourself at a huge advantage, especially if you've got a strong account already. Having an extra edge over somebody makes a big difference. Even if you're small, it makes a big difference. Having a 6% crew, uh, crew size boost, fantastic. Premium coins to make sure you've got gold weapons. Everything. Everything in here is truly beneficial. There's nothing in it. Well, I say, if you haven't got a mansion skin, like a paid skin, I wouldn't really care about the mansion star coupons. That's my personal opinion. Of course, you can get whatever you want. If you're a, if you wanted to build up your equipment, these are fantastic too. You could do every one. You could do your investment set, your construction set, and then full king set. And these. Oh, one second. These can also be used on different sets too. So, one thing I like to buy is the Luxury uh, Redemption Coupons. Just because they give you... It, it's like having another one of these VIP slot shops. Right? It's like having another one of them. So, you can get Crew Attack size... Uh, sorry, Crew Attack Boost. Crypto Coins, Death Syrups, VIP Points... Diamonds, execution orders, loads of things. Yep, that's why it's just it's it's worth it. So you're getting that cheap, and then you're getting all these cheap as well because you've got them. So it's kind of like it's a it's a fantastic cycle of you know, rewards. So I highly recommend getting the luxury item redemption coupons. Depending on your size. If you've transferred all your king set to um, your gold king set to gold purple, uh, sorry, to purple Godfather equipment, these could be really nice because buying the the hundred dollar packs, in my opinion, a shite. I've never got lucky, even using over a thousand dollar worth of the other crates. They just do crap compared to you know. You go in different of different avenues like rebuilding multiple gold king sets and transferring them, then dismantling the ones you don't want. It's much cheaper and a more beneficial way to get your Godfather equipment up to gold. Uh, Challenger set, that's always a fantastic one. Hitting king pens, better rewards, able to kill higher levels. High tech turbo, fantastic when you're fighting. Legacy coins, upgraded your items to legacy. Everything. I said everything here is worth it. These ones, the Grand Crate ones, and the Grand Jewel Crate ones, they're a big gamble and a big risk. Yeah. So it's one of them. For this, in regards to that, so you could buy maybe 30 of these, right, of a risk to get that, or you could save up and get just the Grand Contractor General. My opinion, I'd save and get that because you know what you're gonna get with that one. These are a risk, maybe you could get a couple grand. But I've never been that lucky. Maybe you guys are, but I'm not. And you always gotta make sure you open in intervals of ten. Yeah. And I'm gonna be making a little video soon on Unboxing these crates, because obviously we all know you love them. We all do. <laughs> I get a lot of comments in game, you see. So don't hesitate to message me in game. I like it. If you need help, I'm always there in the comments. So in game, of course. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We are also recruiting Farrington Mafia, C23, message Daddy Wolfiax or Connor Far, Finn. We're always there. All right, take care, everybody. Bye bye.